As appearances go, the Baofeng BF F8 Plus 3 tri-band looks very similar to the better-known Baofeng UV5R or even the Baofeng F8 HP. The difference, though, lies in the change in its innards and in its antenna. This radio doesn't use the same chipset as the Baofeng UV5R. Instead, it goes with the more advanced chipset of the Baofeng UV82. This small touch makes a notable difference in the overall performance of the radio. Baofeng BF F8 Plus 3 tri-band radio is, as its name implies, a tri-band radio. It covers the VHF, UHF, and 220 megahertz bands. And as with all low-cost tri-band radios, it presents the user with a unique problem, working with two antennas. One antenna handles the VHF, UHF functions, dual band, and if you'd like to transmit or receive on the 220 megahertz band, you'll have to use a different antenna. Of course, this also means that when you're on the 220 megahertz setup, the VHF, UHF bands are not available. Well, that really takes the fun out of a tri-band radio. Switching antennas for switching bands is too much of a hassle and even impractical. A better solution is to use a tri-band antenna. Baofeng BF F8 Plus 3 tri-band includes only the two antennas in the box, so users will have to purchase a tri-band antenna by themselves. Baofeng conventionally utilizes the Abri AR771 tri-band antenna for this purpose. However, if you're buying one, you might as well spend money on a better antenna. A Nagoya tri-band antenna would do just fine, even if it's more expensive than Abri's offering. Keep in mind, tri-band antennas are significantly taller than conventional dual-band antennas. In my opinion, this small jump in cost more than justifies itself with the more convenient use of the tri-band radio and better overall performance. When in use, the tri-band shows a remarkable similarity to the Baofeng UV5R in features, setup, and programming. That shouldn't be a surprise, considering that these radios have a lot in common and use the same menus, albeit suited for their specific models. Moving beyond tri-bands, this radio has also managed to get some attention thanks to its claim of 8-watt output power. Baofeng BF F8 Plus 3 tri-band radio makes an attempt to hit this power output, but as with most radios in this category, the radio's RF output struggles to hit the advertised power. The maximum power hovers around 6 watts, which is pretty decent. In its low mode, the radio works on 1 watt of power. As for battery capacity, Baofeng has placed an 1800 mAh battery within this radio. The battery is good enough to get the radio through the day. Even if you expect heavier use, it's a good idea to buy an extra battery, or for that matter, a battery with higher capacity. The package also includes an earpiece and belt clip. The earpiece is nothing special, and most users end up buying a new one to better suit their needs. As for the belt clip, it is fairly standard and does its job as expected. To sum up what we like is the attractive pricing, the high power RF output update watts. It's water resistant, splash proof, and it works well on all three bands. On the downside, need to shift between two antennas for tri-band function, and it can be difficult to read the screen in sunlight. Our rating for functionality is 8 out of 10. Reliability, 7.5 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. Battery, 7 out of 10. For an overall rating of 7.5 out of 10. So what do you think? Is this the best handheld ham radio for you? Check another video where we reviewed the five best handheld ham radios and see if any of these is a better option for you. Tell us in the comments what you think. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Have an awesome day.